So hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with one more video. Today we have one of my friend uh, Shaker with us. So he will be giving a complete talk regarding Empresis company. And guys, before jumping to our main talk, uh, let get a small introduction about Shaker. Uh, hi Shaker, welcome to the channel. Firstly, man. Uh, hi Akshay, how are you? First of all, it's been a long time. I know we're uh, uh, like meeting you. So yep, uh, yep. we are, we are uh, doing great, Shaker. Hope you're doing too great. Yeah, hope so. So. Uh, so to the audience, myself, I'm Shekhar and I'm from Balari. Uh, I've studied in Gita University along with Akshay. Mm -hmm. So I've got the opportunity to, you know, uh, talk to him, speak to him in, individually. And uh, I think he's a very great guy and he's doing a very good job. So keep on doing. I hope you all the best, Akshay. <laughs> so thanks for mentioning that, Shekhar. So yeah, coming yeah. back to our main talk, so how is mm -hmm. MPSA's hiring procedure? Over to you. Uh, the hiring process was a very quick one. Uh, so it happened in a single day. Uh, I think morning nine o'clock I started uh, the technical round, the first round of uh, you know uh, questions and everything. Mm -hmm. So it included close to sixty questions and uh, you know twenty logical, twenty reasoning, and uh, okay. two to three coding questions. The first two questions were uh, uh, quite simple, I think so, like Fibonacci and arrays, it kind okay. of like basic coding. Mm -hmm. But the third one was a bit tricky, so I think I left it. Okay. So after that, uh, within three hours, I got a mail that I've been selected to the mm -hmm. next round, uh, which is uh, you know a technical round with okay. the people of emphasis, mm -hmm. HR. Mm -hmm. So I just attended it. Uh, so I think it happened close to one thirty or two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, in the round, they just didn't even ask me anything. They just asked me what is your name. Uh, so. Which which language are you comfortable in writing your code? So I just said uh, I'm just exposed to C and C plus plus. Okay. So I he said okay. So can you write a Fibonacci uh, you know code mm -hmm. in whichever language you're comfortable? So I directly shared my screen uh, okay. you know, on the notepad. Mm -hmm. I tried opening a online compiler, uh, okay. but he said no need of anything. Just mm -hmm. open your notepad. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, just write it up whatever you know. So. Mm -hmm. In between, I think I made a mistake, but okay. I think he was very friendly. He just uh -huh. uh, said me like uh, just go through once from uh -huh. the beginning. Okay. So I just uh, got a chance to look over it again, mm. and uh, I got to know where I did a small mistake, and I just corrected it at mm -hmm. that moment only. Okay. So after that, uh, he said, "Okay." Then uh, within evening, like after two to three hours by evening, four or four thirty, I got a news that uh, I've been selected to the third round, which is HR. Mm -hmm. And um, HR round was uh, it's, it's, it's just asking about what is your like are you comfortable with the location? Mm -hmm. uh, do you know what at what package that you are mm -hmm. going into? Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, they just briefly explained me what will be my role there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what how much time it will be for the training? Okay. So they mentioned the first three months of my joining will be I'll be in the training session. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, they said uh, the stipend would be around 2.4 lakhs. So uh, I think so in hand, it would be close to 20 or uh, okay. close to 18 to 20,000. Yeah. yeah, 18 to 20,000 mostly. So the first three months, it will be in that way. But uh, as much as I know from the inside news, uh, uh -huh. I know some people there, my uh, you know cousins, uh -huh. friends, and some other people. Uh -huh. So they said it, 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 it will not go on a long up to three months. Uh, okay. Most probably it will be completed by one or two months. Two months, okay. Because, uh, yeah, as coming from a CS background, uh, mm -hmm. they'll just uh, teach you some basics, brushing some things, and mm -hmm. uh, they'll just, uh, in emphasis, I think, so they, uh, you know, believe in uh, learning along with working. So I think they'll just uh, put you in the project right away okay. with a mentor as well as a buddy, a project mm -hmm. buddy, they mm -hmm. call them. Mm -hmm. So whenever you got a, you have a doubt, you can just uh, reach out to them. Uh, so they will be clearing out to you, uh, yep. explaining to you easily. Mm -hmm. So I, th I think every week we'll be having a session, uh, meeting them and discussing what ha have we done in this yep. week and everything. So I think it would be a very uh, great way to learn, you know, mm -hmm. uh, working in a live project as well as gaining some knowledge in a live project. So after three months, uh, they will be assigning a role to us. It may be a development side, it may be in the testing side, and mm -hmm. it can also be as a support. Mm -hmm. It depends on the requirement and uh, it also depends on which location are okay. based on Hyderabad, Bangalore, Mumbai, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever. So that's it. Uh, most probably by end of the day, I got the letter of intake. But uh, the real struggle starts from there because, uh, uh, especially for 2022 pass out batch, uh, mm -hmm. we got the letter of intent in the month of, I think, September to October 2021. Okay. But after that, 
uh, we didn't even get a single message from them. It's like a long, 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 long waiting. Way. Yeah. So I think we got an update from them last year at September. Okay. Uh, they just gave me some, you know, uh, materials to go through mm. on to just brush up my skill and everything. Mm. Uh, so I thought at least by within a month or two, I'll be on with it. But no, uh, again, they just postponed it. I think it's due to lack of projects or some other thing, mm -hmm. as of my knowledge. Yep. So uh, this month on uh, uh, March first week, I got a mail uh, from mm -hmm. the crisis. So even uh, you know uh, there are so many other news channels also covering that. So mm -hmm. crisis CEO has announced that yeah. he will be onboarding uh, 2022 passwords as soon as possible this mm -hmm. year. Okay. So hoping for the best. So I'm I'm looking forward to you know go through the onboarding process and. Uh, experience my first job it job sure then. so in a single short you explain whole procedure the hiring procedure as well as uh, the job description so yeah there just just had a small uh, doubt uh, shaker so as you mentioned okay. uh, in the uh, this thing assessment so okay. you mentioned uh, there were three coding question and uh, how were the coding question were they related to the string or the arrays kind of questions like how were they any yeah topic? so one was like the beginner question like okay. uh, whatever you learn in your uh, plus 11 or plus 12 class so mm -hmm. it's a basic question like uh, the bonus series i think everybody are very familiar with these kind of questions uh in today's generation so after that uh it's like a medium level question. Medium. Okay. so mm -hmm. it's like yeah making a string or something like that okay but the third one is a bit difficult you have to just put your mind on into okay. it and uh you have to think a lot, making that logic and everything. So uh, I okay. actually didn't even attempt that question. I just skipped okay. it. I don't know how I passed it. No problem. <laughs> so do you remember yeah. the platform, Shikhar? Like on what, which platform you wrote the exam? Do you remember the platform? Uh, no. No, actually, actually, I forgot that. It's totally fine. So, so how are these sections, uh, Shikhar? Like once we're done with this section, then only we can go to the next section. Like later we can come back to the, the previous section. How are these sections actually? So as much as I remember, I don't think there is a uh, option to go back. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. But the good thing is, I I remember we we didn't had any timer for each question. Okay. So so it was like uh, you have the time to think and answer every question. So okay. but the overall exam lasts for only uh, two and a half hours. Okay. But I think it's easy to complete within that. No problem. All right. So coming to the technical round, as you mentioned, so only yeah. uh, how was the question? So did they ask anything related to the DBMS or situation based question, anything like that? So you're asking about the second round, right? Yeah, second round. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, as a, as a, you know, as a, like when I got this uh, mail of the second round, mm -hmm. I just tried calling to my friends, like okay. uh, you know, they will be allotting some time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I just called the previous people after they finished their interview session. Mm -hmm. So everybody was said like they asked like this question, that question uh, regarding database, uh, data structure, oops concepts, that question, this question. Okay. So I was completely tense and actually it was my first interview mm -hmm. uh, when I was in college. So mm -hmm. I was continuously trying to you know look into Google asking for uh, what are the beginner uh, questions for okay. interviews and everything. Mm -hmm. So I was con constantly tense and I was yeah. looking for all the answers and trying to you know by heart look mm -hmm. into all the programs at one single this thing mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. But uh, I had a friend, I think you know, Banu Prakash Reddy from my class. Banu Sierra, okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so even his interview went for close to 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So he, he was just, uh, after Banu, it was my interview. Achoo, so I was okay. completely tense. Mm -hmm. I just spoke to him. He said, bro, he asked me, you know, the complete concepts of uh, hierarchy and everything. So mm -hmm. he, he he said me to write this program and he asked me to explain that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, so let's see what happens. But mm -hmm. when it came to me, they just asked me like, what is your name? Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Mm -hmm. uh, which language are you comfortable from? Mm -hmm. Please, can you write this code? That's it. Okay. I just wrote it and uh, that's it. They said, you can go now. I thought okay. I'm done with it. I, I thought it's not going to work out, but uh, yeah, I cleared it. Uh, by the end of the day. But it's good to have prepared on the technical stuff and some DBMS knowledge. Yeah. Better to prepare yeah. and go for the next time. Yeah. It, yeah, you are right. But uh, actually, it makes you. I was feeling a bit tense. I don't want anybody to feel that Shall because uh, being tense, you forget all the questions you have, you know, uh, read or something. I agree, agree with you. And apart yeah. from that, Shekhar, any situation-based question? Like, uh, did they ask, did they give any situation and they see how you're going to react to that situation? Any such kind of question? Yeah. 
so in the hr round uh, uh, they ask me this kind of questions like uh, mm. they literally ask me like uh, i think your first preference is bangalore right so mm. what if mm. you are not you didn't get the location at bangalore are you comfortable in the location okay. or uh, those mm. kind of simple questions but said yes obviously i need a job at that moment yes. <laughs> so any project so, were discuss uh, shikhar any project your academic mm-hmm. project anything like that nothing nothing related to any of my resume related questions uh, i was actually very much prepared about those things but uh, okay <laughs> hello then i guess we covered everything so how much time yeah. it took to get the final result after you done with the hr how many days it took uh i think uh, within 6:30 i have completed the hr round and uh, by the 8 o'clock in the same day i got the loi but uh, mm-hmm. the date of joining even now i didn't get the date of joining so that's a problem yeah so uh the hiring the exam and the hiring process was a very quick shift mm. so it just completed they just completed everything within two days mm-hmm. for close okay. to the in the first round we cleared was 600 people but uh when i when we cleared the second round it was uh only 200 people out of the 600 okay mm-hmm. and uh after the hr part i think there are uh, close to 17 okay or uh 17 to 21 i think so close to okay. 17 to 21 people we cleared it so yeah that's it chalo then hiring is done job description is done so coming to a ctc yeah. shekhar what is the expected salary for the fresher can you talk on that so it, it depends on the college uh, mm-hmm. actually in our college they just gave the minimum one but mm-hmm. uh, i got to know that in the other colleges like reva and presidency mm-hmm. it varies from 3.5 to you know close to 4.5 but i think it's it's common for a fresher but sure. uh, i i suggest we should not look into the city scene this aspect until and unless you are uh, a genius or you are just uh, very passionate about coding but if you are a fresher just look into the experience that you are getting it in the uh, it industry that's it uh, agree second and uh, and i got to know that uh, from many of my friends you know cousins and their uncles and everyone everybody said one thing to me that emphasis is the best company to begin mm-hmm. your career with because mm-hmm. uh, i've seen some people who started their uh, career in emphasis and they've been in emphasis for close to 5 to 7 years long mm-hmm. and after that they got to you know learn more skills yep. and everything mm-hmm. so after that they this uh, promoted into project manager or program manager mm-hmm. and they they're in a best level uh, in their life so i'm looking forward to it chalo then so is there any bond shaker It yeah doesn't. uh actually uh they are uh they said like it, it will be a two years bond mm-hmm. and uh but i don't think so it's applicable it's not legal <laughs> okay but in the yeah. service agreement they mentioned there will be a bond of two years yeah that's so. for sure and uh, uh one more important notice is uh they will be asking your passport uh mm-hmm. so this is the one thing they look into it because uh, most of the companies do background verification on their mm-hmm. own so okay. having a passport is like already your background verification will be completed by the government mm-hmm. yep. so it, it's better you uh, if anybody doesn't have a passport uh, passport you can apply to that mm-hmm. so that uh, at the time of onboarding even though if you don't have the passport you can just show the you know application number yeah. or application mm-hmm. code so that they will accept you uh, later when you get the passport you could just uh, submit the copy to them so no issues so then thanks for mentioning the last part uh, shekhar regarding the passport yeah Hello I guess we have covered everything so before ending our talk would you like to mention anything are we missing anything uh I don't think so I think we have covered everything uh just keep all the documents ready yep. because we don't know when the onboarding yeah. date will be coming to us so actually uh I know I think you I said you uh, regarding the onboarding letter a uh, mail that we got in this mm-hmm. March yeah, 2023 yeah yeah, yeah. so <clears throat> so it's been almost like 6 uh, to 7 months I don't think so many of the people will be available still in the job market mm-hmm. uh, but if you are like get you know getting that mail or if you got that mail please mm-hmm. do respond mm-hmm. actually the end date is completed mm-hmm. you have to respond to it before march 10 mm-hmm. so if you are delayed or something your allowance will be you know, terminated okay. so if you have reply to it uh, you will get the mail i think so within next month or by the month of uh, may Shalom. most of it All right, and thanks for the last update, uh, Shikhar. Yeah. So we have covered everything. And from my end, all questions has been asked, and from your end, all answer has been said. And yeah. uh, <laughs> so I guess we are ready to. So yeah, last thing. Uh, what is the working mode, uh, Shikhar? Current working mode. Uh, 
most probably i think it will be work from office because uh, okay. most of the offices are starting to call all the employees back to their offices like uh, i heard that one of my friend is working in amazon mm. so up to last month uh, he was completely you know working from home mm-hmm. but from this month he's he's into hybrid like he's okay. going for three days and after two days he'll be staying at home so it depends on the office but most probably employees will be like uh, work from office Hello then, and uh, yeah, Shaka, really appreciate you for taking time and joining us, and you know, sharing the complete uh, interview experience of what the emphasis to our audience. Really appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, thanks. And yeah, guys, this is all about this talk. And guys, if you're not a subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon and subscribe. And guys, we also have a Telegram community group. Link is given in the description. And Shaka, once again, uh, thank you, man, for uh, taking time and joining us today. Please. And yeah, guys, see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.